Alive. Hey everyone. Hey, 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 how's it going this week? Um, live session on Tuesday. Welcome everyone. Um, Yo, yeah, so this, this week we're in the garden. <laughs> um, so it's great being outside. Um, Yo, yeah, so let's talk a bit about what's happening. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening this week. Um, we're going to RTS John Foster tomorrow. Um, gonna speak a bit to the children, to the students, and see what's happening there. And then, um, hi Justin, how's it going? And then um, we're also gonna um, distribute re um, soon. So we have um, got distributors to distribute the book. I'm talking about bargain books, exclusive books, um, CNA, PNA, all over the country. Hi Salandri, how's it going? Um, so we're going to distribute all over the country and we are shipping, um, we have shipped, so apparently it will be shipped early next week, maybe the week after that, and then the books will be in store all over the country. I'm so excited about that. Great, let's get to this week's questions. Guys, if you have any questions, send them in right now um, on the live feed, then we can talk live about them. Uh, that is why we're here, to talk live, to interact live. Um, even though we can't reach each other, um, we can still talk live and discuss these topics live in real time. So send in your questions um, and we can talk about it and we can answer them. Great. So the first question for this week was from Yuan, and there's another question from Santi. Uh, Yuan uh, does metal construction and um, Santi does um, embroidery and they want to know how they can increase their marketing in the areas and I'm going to answer both of them with the same answer and that is to increase marketing you first of all you need a value product. You need to create value for the market so they would like to to buy your product and to purchase your product so emphasize your value uh, make sure that you have value and make sure that you can deliver the value um, then there's a few methods of marketing so the best one is word of mouth and that still works today um, hey France how's it going um, so, so marketing word of mouth still works today so if you can focus on that um, that's great. So get your friends, family, people in your community to talk about your product. To start talking about your product. Um, tell, tell, what, tell your friends what you do. Tell your family what you do. And you can even put an incentive behind that. You can say, look, um, if you get a sale for me, I'll give you a bit of commission. So in the steel industry, if you're, if you're building a gate or, or a carport, then tell your friends, look, if you, if you sell this for me, if you tell your friends and one of your friends comes and buys a carport from me, I'll give you a bit of commission. So that's word of mouth, very important. And if you, if you can put some money behind it, some incentive for people to talk about your product, some commission, that can work great. Hi Natasha, welcome to the feed, the live feed. Um, so that's the first thing of marketing, word of mouth. So powerful and you can also create word of mouth on social media that's the second one social media people need to be able to see you um, when they do hear about you they need to be able to go um, online they need to be able to see a website to see a Facebook page and to be able to see what you're doing or when they hear about you so that's very important to do that to get people to to find something of you online when they hear about you. Um, so get your website up and running, get your social media platforms up and running. It is so important to do that and to, um, to create that online presence so that when people hear about you, they know where to find you quickly and easily. And um, yeah, then along with social media, you can also do paid advertisements. That's a new thing on Facebook, Instagram, Google AdWords. You can pay to be pushed or to be, um, you know, exposed to certain people in your area, in your market. And um, Facebook really helps us with marketing in that sense. 
so you can do that so there's a lot of ways to market i'll say word of mouth is the most important and then secondly social media super super important so that's for uh, johan and santi um, word of mouth and social media marketing great then Wilhelmin asked how do i determine the price that i need to sell at okay there's a few ways to do that the the first way is to actually look at the competitive market to look at the markets of similar products in your um, in your market and to see how they compare and to look at those prices and determine from there your own prices okay and to and to distinguish where you want to be in a market do you want to come in low and take a lot of market share very quickly or do you want to establish yourself as a market leader or as a high quality high priced um, person in the market so that's also going to determine your price your price selection the other thing that you need to consider is the double-edged sword so the more you increase your price the less sales you're going to have the more you decrease your price the more sales you're going to have so you need to determine um, how many sales do you want to have how many stock do you have if you have a storeroom full of uh, a thousand pottery items that you've just created then you want a low price so that you can sell them quickly if you're making a one-of-a-kind product and you can only produce one of them a month then you need to up your price so that you can only sell one of them a month. so that's a double-edged sword determine how many you can sell and how many you want to sell and then determine what your price margin is going to be on that one thing you need to remember is that um, value comes with price uh, Lamborghinis are never on sale um, Rolexes are never on sale they're never cheap so don't don't lower your price too much um, focus on, on establishing value and establishing worth um, of your product great so that's for Wilhelmin so Johan and Santi um, we talked about how you can market your product and then Wilhelmin we talked on about how you can determine the price okay guys uh, that's all questions for this week Instagram is not working again today so there was about 15 viewers on Instagram that couldn't post their um, questions there's two viewers on Facebook so if you have questions to still send them through then we can answer them but I think that's all for today so we talked a bit about marketing and we talked a bit about price determination let us know if, uh, if the live feeds work, if we answer the right questions and if you have questions, send them through and then we can take a look at them and see how we can answer them. Great guys, awesome. Have a great uh, Tuesday.